the teleological argument is a theistic explanation as to how and why things exist. Teleology is derived from the Greek words logos, meaning logic or reasoning, and teleos, meaning complete or whole, which in turn is derived from the word telos, meaning purpose or goal. So the design argument questions the nature of completed things and why they have taken on the form that they have. First described and popularised by William Paley in the book Natural Theology in 1802, when he said, From the existence of the universe that I can see, I can infer the existence of its creator that I cannot see. The creationist belief states that for something to be considered purposefully created, it must have at least one of these three attributes. It must be complex, it must be beautiful, or it must be orderly, so not chaotic. However, in order for such creation to be manifested, it must have a purposeful designer who is wise, knowledgeable enough to create what they have, benevolent, a creator should want whoever is using their creation to have a good time using it, and powerful, able to create what they have, which is why the teleological argument is theistic as evidenced by the observations of three moral philosophers or theologians that many aspects of our world possess the attributes of a purposeful creation. God must have been the purposeful designer as he has all three qualities of one, being all loving, all knowing and all powerful. Here is what these philosophers saw in the world to support the design argument. Born in 1743, William Paley observed that a watch is complex, possessing one attribute of the purposeful creation, and was made by an intelligent watchmaker who has the knowledge to craft the timepiece. Then he turned to the human eye. It is complex, and its purpose is to allow humans to receive visual sensory input. In that case, what purposeful creator made it? Thomas Aquinas, born a lot earlier in 1225, saw order in the rotation of the planets. Surely only a very powerful and knowledgeable creator could have made the planets suspended in the heavens move so precisely. And finally, Frederick Tennant, born in 1866, noticed that the sunrise is so very beautiful and punctually orderly that it must be purposefully created to be so. And who else, powerful, knowledgeable and benevolent enough to place such a pretty source of entertainment for humanity in the sky, but God could have created it. But what about humans? We can be beautiful, orderly in our similarities, and complex, and we are, according to the teleological argument created by an intelligent designer, God. So that only leaves the question of what is the meaning of our existence? Thank you very much for watching.